Hello and welcome to the Signature TV News Highlight for this Thursday. I am Ifunanya Ilodianya. <laughs> President Muhammad Buhari has departed Abuja for Dubai to attend the Expo 2020 in the United Arab Emirates, aimed at creating an environment for Nigerians to join over 190 countries to form true and meaningful partnerships. According to a statement by the President's spokesman, Femi Adeshino, on Wednesday, the Expo will provide an opportunity for Nigerian delegation to highlight significant strides in the economy in the last six years as a basis for making the country an important destination for foreign direct investments. Other top government officials who accompanied the president were the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Industry, Trade, Investments, Finance, Budget and National Planning, among others. President Muhammad Buhari has expressed his anguish over the tragic boat accident in Bagwai local government area of Kanu State, in which more than 20 deaths were reported. In a statement signed by Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Garba Shehu, on Wednesday, the President assured the government of the support of all federal agencies in the state as rescue operations continue. According to an eyewitness, Ikenu carrying Islamia school children and other passengers, from Badov village to Bagwai local government area, where they were expected to board a vehicle to do for local government area for the Malut celebration, capsized and killed over 20 people, while the driver and six other passengers were injured. Emirates Airlines on Thursday says it will resume its passenger operations between Dubai and Nigeria from December 5, 2021. This is coming nine months after the carrier suspended flight to Nigeria following the diplomatic probe between the two countries over COVID-19 protocols. Emirates said it will operate to Abuja with EK-785 and 786. EK-785 will depart Dubai at 1100 hours arriving in Abuja at 15.40 hours. The return flight EK-785 will take off from Abuja at 1900 hours arriving in Dubai at 0435 hours the next day. The Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has said the issue of pardoning the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Nnamdi Kanu, is premature. Malami stated this on Wednesday while appearing as a guest on Channel Television Politics Today. The minister stated that the trials associated with Kanu have not been concluded and as such, the pardon option cannot get on the table just yet. Malami's comment comes a few days after leaders of South East met with President Muhammad Buhari to plead for Kanu to be pardoned. Super Eagles assistant coach Salisu Yusuf has been appointed as the technical advisor of Nigerian Professional Football League MPFL, Giants Kanu Pillars. He was unveiled on Tuesday by the governor of Kanu State. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, who was represented by his deputy Nasir Yusuf Gawuna, stating that he will return the club to its rightful place in both local and international football. The coach, who is popularly called the Black by his team in fans, was charged to bring his wealth of experience to bear on the club. Salisu is now having his third time with Pinas, having coached the team in two previous occasions in 2007 and 2010. Salisu, who was handed a one year ban in 2018 by FIFA over bribery, was reappointed. As assistant coach of the Super Eagles in October 2021. Safety and security begins with you. People trot report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. And that's the Signature TV News highlight. For details, please visit www.signaturetv.org and please do join us later in the evening for the Signature TV News updates. On behalf of my producer, Nasir Usman, I am Ifunanya Ilodianya. Thanks for watching.